All right, y'all. This is really what my setup looks like. <laughs> yeah. Looks crazy, right, on that camera? But on this camera, just not, it's not that hard to do what I do, y'all. We're going to be vulnerable today. We're going to be talking about how to become a content creator. I feel like we overcomplicate things a lot of times as we are trying to start. And I hope this video helps you start producing videos ASAP from your phone. Not even from this mic. From your phone's mic. It's just that easy, y'all to start. I'm doing a 120 days challenge, taking cold showers, and this is an update also of my day 30. I wanted to be just blunt as possible so that I can help somebody, right? My goal this year is to help 10,000 content creators. So if I get one person saying I got helped, hey, I'm getting close to that mark, to that goal that I have. Today's day 30, so we have to start a new habit or a challenge. Every 10 days, you guys know new challenge happened. This time is actually breaking addictions. So today we're gonna just be as blunt with ourselves as possible that we need to break some of the addictions that we have, whether that is pornography, social media, sugar, anything that you consider yourself that's dragging you down. And if you can't do this challenge by yourself and you don't think you can do it and do me a favor, and start praying and asking God to help you because he is always there to help. He has helped me tremendously with a lot of things, if not everything in my life. So yes, this challenge is a little bit more tougher than usual, but however we have to, if we wanna reach our goals, we can't let baggages that heavy drag us down. So starting from day 30, moving forward, we're gonna break addictions. And also to help you guys out all inclusive for how to become content creators, there are three main struggles that I've seen when a person wants to become a content creator go through. And I made it super easy so that you guys can remember them. It is KFC. The K stands for knowledge. The what? Like, what do I even shoot contents of? Am I knowledgeable enough to start? But I have a desire to do so. The F is for funds. Like, I don't have the funds or I don't have the time because I have a nine to five. So I don't have enough time to work to become a content creator. And then the C is confidence. Do I believe in myself? Why would somebody even listen to me? Why do I even think I can do something like this? If you can work on overcoming this KFC, it's funny how I put it like that. Kind of, It's kind of fire <laughs> and it sounds good, but no, let's, let's get back to the subject. If we work on ourselves to defeating these three things as far as, okay, if I'm not knowledgeable, how can I get better at it? Or how can I get knowledgeable? Like literally invest in books. Like you guys, if I were to show you right here, I have a bunch of books that I've invested in myself. When I did Uber also, cause I did Uber for two and a half years, I wondering what I'm gonna become a content creator. I literally just invested in myself so much, uh, whether that is going to conferences, books, podcasts, a lot of a lot of podcasts, audibles. Uh, there's a lot of resources that we have. So there is no way you can tell me there's not enough knowledge for you to put in yourself to better assist you become knowledgeable. And then the funds is if you have a nine to five job, then time to set aside some times to work on it. Because one day that you miss, let's say you have two hours during the day. If you miss those two hours for that day, you literally can add that up for the rest of the year. And that's how many how many hours plus when it adds up, it will become days, months that you have missed on working on your business. If you don't get up early already, I go to sleep around eight, nine, 10, sometimes 11. And I get up at 4 a.m. and take cold shower. Cold shower will wake me up, get me focused and get me ready. I might take a nap during the day because because if, I'm, if I haven't gotten enough sleep, of course I may need some sleep, but my goal is to wake up early, take that cold shower to give me access and time to work on the things I need to work on. Of course, there are some days that I did not get 4 a.m. exact time, you know what I mean? But the concept is there. You have to get up and do the hardest thing that can challenge you, which is taking the cold shower. If you don't do cold shower, then do the next hard thing. I don't know what that would be. To be honest with you, to me, cold shower has helped me. To some people, it doesn't. That's fine. And then after the cold shower, you actually have three hours to work on yourself, on your business or anything so focused because it's proven that after a cold shower, your body is absolutely laser focused. And that's what this whole thing is about that I'm doing is being laser focused to hit my goal. Today, I'm super tired, but I'm still executing this video for you guys after having almost a 10 hour of content shooting today that I did. So there is no excuse, right? Get up in the morning and get it done. And then the confidence is, this is the tough one. This even comes down to a point of you understanding yourself and who you are. And for me, I found my identity, not just in just in the world, what people tell me who I am, but what God tells me who I am. And that's who I am. And so I can't let anybody or anything tell me I can't do anything. Trust me, if you talk to anybody that I used to know back five, 10 years, they would never think I would do something like this that I'm doing today. But it's just like, when I found myself who I am, then I was like, I can do anything. I can do anything. 
through Christ and strengthen me. Seriously, guys, it's just it's one of those things. It's like, if you don't have the confidence for what you're gonna do, it's, it's usually with the identity. You don't feel like you're worth something. And so that's a deeper issue. So that is my advice for you guys. You guys got this. If I can do it, you definitely can. This is day 30 of me taking a cold shower. I'm out, y'all.